book Dragon Slayer. <sighs> After a nice long day of granting wishes and doing work in the human world, mm, it'll be nice to go back home and unwind a bit. Maybe have a hot drink, a nice bath. Mm. Mm. Oh dear. Uh, you can come out of hiding. I know you're there. I can't understand though is how you were able to follow me. What? Take the secret great ways back home. How are you able to follow me this far without being spotted by another? Come on out now. I won't bite you. Not that hard anyway. Mm? Ah, there you are. Mm. No, no. Don't be modest. I have to commend you for following me this long, but at the same time, I also have to curse you for being very foolish in doing so. Of course you know who I am. I'm Laceria. I do a bit of fairy godmothering in the human realm on occasion. I actually showed up to your birthday, the actual hour you were born, of course. And I did give you a blessing. Well, your parents were very considerate and they have respect for us fairies. Uh, up, 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 up. No, 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 no. Don't tell me your name. I already know it, but you shouldn't say it, especially out here. Anyway, so, aside from making another mistake of almost revealing your name to me, what exactly brings you here to the edge of the enchanted forest? Hmm? Go on, you can tell me. I'm not mad. I just want to know. Ah, that explains it. You were curious. Hmm. Out of all the blessings of the entire world, the blessing of curiosity seems to be the most dual-ended. Among you humans, at least. Hmm? You can hear talking and murmuring. Well, of course you can. And just a few more steps, and I would have entered the fairy realm, where I live. Oh, my goodness gracious. You silly, silly, semi-idiotic human. Mm. You were curious about me and where I live, but you decided to follow me. A very, very stupid decision. If ever I have seen a stupid decision, and believe me, I have seen many, many stupid decisions. I've been around a lot longer than you have, dearie, so I know stupid decisions when I see them. Well, at least you didn't follow me through entirely, because it's dangerous, especially for you humans. What do I mean? Don't fairies do nice things? Just grant wishes and be all around pleasant? <laughs> oh, what are they teaching you in those schools, I wonder? Clearly not the important things, especially now, with the interspecies exchange bill running around in the human realm. I'm surprised they don't teach about us fairies in those colleges and schools of yours. Because the thing is, Oh, sweet, sweet, naive little human. The thing is, we can be benevolent, and we are often at times. But we're not always benevolent. We can actually be quite wicked little things. 
and even the most sweetest of godmothers and good fairies has their moments and their tempers and well were not sweet and nice as you would think and one of the things i blame is your interpretation of us in the modern media oh uh, yes we're pretty and all but again we're not all that good i suppose it's lucky you tried following me and not one of the unseely <clears throat> Hmm? What is the unseely? Pray you never, ever find out. Because rarely do humans cross paths with an unseely fairy and live to tell the tale about it. Let's just say the unseely are very, very against human. They see you as a target and will kill you on sight if they are given a chance. They, well, at least from my experience, I've actually known a few, unseely personally, who hunt you humans for sport. Mm -hmm. But then you have the seely, the benevolent fairies. I am one of the benevolent fairies, but I'm not all nice either. What do I mean by I'm not entirely nice? I seem very pleasant. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, but again, I meant what I said. I'm not all that nice either. I am a fairy after all. Hmm? Name an example of me being not nice. Are you sure? We fairies can be quite scary sometimes. Are you sure you want me to tell you? <laughs> Alright, fine. But don't go crying when I tell you. An example at least. Don't go crying to me because I did warn you. And it's not my fault that you decided not to listen to me. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> well, there was one incident in particular. I was on holiday with some of my sisters, and we were visiting, oh, which kingdom was it? Ah, the 17th kingdom. Now I remember. We were visiting there. It's a really lovely place if you haven't been there. Quite pleasant, absolutely delightful anyway. But me and my sisters were enjoying the bathhouse, and, well, one of the royal princes decided to come and pay us a visit. Being taught to respect us fey folk. Well, needless to say, he and my littlest sister hit it off, and they were getting along quite swimmingly when the prince's former fiancé approached him and rebuked him despite the fact that their engagement had been cancelled weeks ago she was a real piece of work i'll tell you that much she tried separating the prince from my sister and well she slapped her i tried to settle things peacefully and be reasonable with her promising her another prince a lot more handsomer than this one but she would not listen to me and then she proceeded to strike me as well and after insulting me and my sisters well let's just say i scratched out her eyes and i mangled her face for good measure now no one will ever want to be with her Unless they can see past her face. But even then, though, I doubt she's changed all that much. <laughs> what? I told you not to go crying to me. I did warn you. And that was her getting off lightly. I've done a lot worse to 
people who have insulted my sisters and me for less. And I do mean a lot worse. So, hearing that, do you still want to follow me into the fairy realm? Because I warn you, if you stay in there long enough, you won't be entirely human again, if and when you come out. And of course, you're liable to make mistakes that'll bind you to the fairy realm forever. Hmm? What do I mean by mistakes? Well, I'll tell you. But you must listen very carefully and pay attention, alright? Alright, for starters, you must never, ever, ever, ever give your real name out to people in the fairy realm. The reason for this is because names have power, and by introducing yourself and giving us your name, that basically gives the fairy ownership over you, and they have power over you, and you don't want that. Oh my goodness. Ugh, some gnomes are fighting amongst themselves. Gnomes? Yes, they're rock fairies. Anyway, but if you give your name to a fairy, that means they have power over you, and they own you, and you don't want that. You could end up as a servant, entertainer, you could end up as a lover, or even an ornament. And... None of those are pleasant, despite what you may think, and despite what those bawdy, lusty, absolutely lewd bards may say about us. It's not pleasant to be the lover of a fairy. Because again, we're not all that nice, and even the nicest of us have our tempers and our days, and we're the kind to bite and scratch in certain dark hours of the night but yes don't give your name to a fairy don't eat or drink anything in the fairy realm as this will also bind you to the fairy realm and when you're bound to the fairy realm well then usually what happens at least what happened a lot back in the old days was if a human ate fairy food there would be an auction of sorts and whoever bid the highest would get the human and then well again you'd either be a servant entertainment a lover or an ornament it's not pleasant anyway but yes don't eat or drink anything in the fey realm don't give them your name and honestly if i were you I would not follow me in, and I would start wearing iron from now on, just to be on the safe side. Since now that you've been here and around me, and especially close to the edge of the Fey Realm border, you will most likely begin attracting other fairies. Why is that a bad thing? I just told you... A few of the reasons why that would be a bad thing. Not only that, but if you rebuke to them, you could easily be cursed for the rest of your life, either being mauled by beasts, having snakes fall out of your mouth every time you speak, or growing uglier and uglier every day. You have to treat us with respect. So, if I were you, I'd go home, Don on an iron chain, or keep an iron spoon, or something of iron in your pocket or on your person, because iron burns us fairies. Or if you still insist on following me into the realm, then you must be prepared to suffer the consequences. I will try and protect you as best as I can, but even I have my limits. Uh, hmm. Salamander woman talking about 
talking of all things, my goodness gracious. Oh, even at the edge of the border, they're so loud. It's one of the reasons why I enjoy visiting the human realm. It's a bit more quiet there. So, tell me, oh sweet, naive human of mine who has so much to learn, what will you choose? Do you wish to follow me into the realm of the fairies? Or will you make the wise decision and go back home? Well, come now, I don't have all day. I've had an enjoyable... Ugh. Ugh, I'm getting tired, I can't speak properly, but I've had an enjoyable day at work, but now I'm quite tired, so make up your mind. Oh my goodness. Mm. You're going to go home. Oh, that's a wise decision. Mm. Will I be back tomorrow? Oh, that depends. I do sometimes visit the human realm for pleasure. Oh. A date? You wish to go on a date with me? Hmm. You're certainly an odd human, I'll give you that. But alright, I suppose we can go on a date tomorrow. Just meet me in the Central Park, alright? Alright. This was an intriguing visit, but you better go back home. Just follow the ivy path. Alright. Goodbye for now, human.